Beardos, weirdos, boils and ghouls. I have been nagged and nagged and nagged. People are like, hey, where's Paranormal Sins? Where's Paranormal Sins? Why haven't you done Paranormal Sins? I have just finished a live stream. It is 25 minutes past 9 p.m. And I'm normally in bed by 10. But I'm staying awake for you guys because you wanted a Paranormal Sins video. Now, I was going to stop them, even though they were very popular. I was going to stop doing them because of copyright reasons. I have to watch too much of the video. But I'm sure there's a way around it. And I will edit this to show as much. And people keep saying, check out Project Fear. Look at Project Fear. Ooh, Project Fear. I tried. So we're going to Paranormal Sin Project Fear. Okay, Project Fear. Um, they had a TV show, as far as I'm aware. I'm not entirely sure where they came from, but they had a TV show. And then they lost the TV show because it's something to do with Zach Baggins and all that crap. I don't know. Before we even get into the episode, they get a sin. <laughs> what do they get a sin for? This. Looks like they're giving the ghost a blowy. Sorry. Okay, we need a shorter episode. Oh my god, these are so long. Destination Fear is what they used to be called. Right, we're going to look at the new one. Five days ago, chained with a demon for an entire night. Goddamn demons. Demons in my soup. Demons in my toast. Demons in my ears. Anyway, one sin for these stupid, ridiculous thumbnails. And Chelsea, you are going to be chained with a demon. Dude! Another sin. <laughs> Pound shops like Baggins. And another sin for saying the word dude. <laughs> if I had dude or bro one more time in this video, I'm quitting YouTube. So I'm not going to sin the intro. It was short to the point. It wasn't overblown. Blown. It wasn't overblown. It wasn't 20 minutes long. And like paranormal twins and paranormal files. I'm pretty sure this is the prison break prison. But yeah. It has gotten worse since we've been back. I know no one wants to do this, but it is time to separate and sleep alone. I gotta be honest, I'm a little... I'm also sending him for his jeans being tighter than her leggings. <laughs> tisk tisk. Pissed off right now. Like, I think this is stupid that we're even uh, attempting to sleep alone at this place. We don't know what we're dealing with in the hospital. What is his camera pointing at? <laughs> I'm not sending it. And I'm not really adding this in for the jeans, but... We were taking photo after photo after photo. We got nothing, nothing, nothing. And as we're scrolling through, we see this white mist, this white mass. We zoom into the photo. That's vape. I am sinning that because <laughs> that's pareidolia. You shouldn't be getting an image that greeny. You've zoomed in that far. It's just pareidolia. That is getting a sin. And flip it upside down and it looks like a creature. You can see the eyes. You can see. Hang on a second. I took a photograph of me blowing out vape. No, scary. Ra. I turned her upside down. Look at that. There's a full blown demon. Nose, eyes, horns, beard, everything. So you get another sin for the utter bullshit. It looks demonic. Like, it looks horrible. It's a cloud that is not demonic. There's another sin. It's crazy, and a lot of this is information's coming in fast, but if you haven't seen the video, you guys just need. The hospital scarier. Um, no. What is it? What's your experiment for sleeping on? There's another sin for over dragging this stuff out. <laughs> oh my God, this is taking forever. Get on with it. And is it safe? I don't know if it's safe. We, one of us, is going to be handcuffed in the hospital and won't be able to move. Dude! Sending it. Dude. What the shit? Just as I was saying, this is already probably the most dangerous night that we're putting ourselves through. What the, what is going on with the experiments this road trip? It's like there's another sin. I I cannot abide this acting, this constant dude and shouting. Everyone's shouting. Everyone is talking so loud and over the top, dramatic. You're taking away, you're taking away any form of immersion because people don't behave this way. You're portraying really bad actors. You're not. This is not a paranormal investigation. This is a televised ghost hunt with added stupid boom, gin, 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 boom. 
gin, gin. The same music in all of these types of videos. The overacting, everything. This is as generic as it can be. Another sin for the generic. Another sin for the stupid music. We're taking it way too far. Way too far. I didn't know this night was going to be this messed up. So how how do we find out who is the lucky winner here? Yeah, who has to... Drawing. <laughs> We're not drawing. <laughs> you mother fricker. Now, genuinely, when people are that upset, annoyed, etc., or worried, freaker doesn't come out of their mouth. Fucker comes out of their mouth. That's right. I'll say it. And you fuckers are getting on my nerves so much. It is unreal. I've never wanted a building to collapse so much my entire life. Not on them. Just collapse just in front of them. So they're like, oh, we better go home. You're not drawing. Uh, Why? Why? What is up with fate? Do we forget about no, fate no, on this? No, no, no. Fate was heavily involved in this. How? A month ago, I put an anonymous poll on Twitter. Three minutes and 13 seconds ago, I was good without arm waving. Urgh. This is one of the worst things I've seen. This is worse than Paranormies and the Twins combined. And I put A, B, C, D. <laughs> These four people that did run a TV series for quite a while, quite a successful one from what I hear, could not possibly ever have looked at each other's Twitters to ruin the secret. That's another sin. Also, another sin, that goddamn face. Look at it. Invisible dildos. Invisible dildos. All right. What? You didn't even see this, Paul. <coughs> I hope you didn't pick me. I hope you did not pick me. Please, fans. <gasps> There's another sin for foreshadowing. Please, fans. Please, fans. I hope you don't pick me. Shut up. You know it's you. It's all been pre-written, pre-staged, pre-shot. Everything is staged, set up. I'm getting really, really annoyed. And I'm only three minutes and 29 seconds into 45 minutes of this. Jesus Christ. You guys owe me for this. Me! Oh, me. <laughs> Almost 5,000 people voted in this poll. 13% voted for D. No, that's the one I wanted to yes. 21% voted for B. Fuck! Sorry. No, no! Why is it always- There we go. She said fuck. Yes! We're already having problems! Dude! Do you guys want to know second place just, or the first? No, no just say first. Say first. Let's just hear. Forty percent voted for C. No! Yes! Oh my God! Yes! Why? Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Max! Oh my God! I'm just sinning this again because. Oh my God! This is awful. Why are people asking me to watch this? Do people think this is legitimate? Karma. Is this about you? No. <laughs> is everything about you? Oh, it's another sin. <laughs> it's another sin for this is everything about you while you have to shout louder than anyone else in the room. Jesus, this, this is really hard to watch. We may not get all the way through. This may be the first Paranormal Sins episode where I tap out. <laughs> hey, smile, Chelsea. The wall is telling you so. I just need new friends. I need to reevaluate my inner circle because. Well, if you get new friends, consider yourself having a bunch of new enemies now. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> is this what the paranormal world has descended into? <laughs> is this garbage what people want to see as opposed to the real channels that I shout out? There are channels that I have said are fake. There are channels that I've had a go at for staging. There are channels that I have issues with. There are channels that have done things that um, are illegal and immoral that I have taken proper issue with, that I have proper screamed and shouted at. And none of that is egregious as this overacting piece of shit trash TV. Everyone has been screaming about Project Fear coming over to YouTube. And this is garbage. This is bad for the paranormal world. This is bad for paranormal investigations. If you're a ghost hunter, this is bad for you as well. This is what people think we all behave like, and it is bad. This is taking the Zach Bagans school of acting and cranking it up to 11. And Zach Bagans is already too far up that dial. This, I'm done. No. It's driving me to drink from a hip flask. 
Got my whiskey glass. I don't think there's enough whiskey in here. Legitimately, I didn't just cut that video. I had to walk away from this because I was getting so annoyed at this overacting. I have no idea what the sin counter is up there. I imagine it's quite high. This, this is awful. And I'm only five minutes and 19 seconds in. I almost had a heart attack. It was one of the most scariest times. Did you, did you really nearly have a heart attack? Or did you just get wind? Maybe some heartburn. I mean, what are you, 22? You ain't having a heart attack. I'm sitting in it, <laughs> overselling. Of my entire life. Wow, I feel so bad for you right now. Oh my God, Chelsea, thank you so much. <laughs> I think that's very admirable, Tanner. So then that leaves. I'm sitting in for being called Tanner. I got West. West that makes you East. I'm East. East side is the best. West side is the best. That's how bored I am right now. This is. <laughs> Do when you see the legitimate teams being like, we are sick of the same fake cack. This is it. I'm gonna be the closest to Chelsea. If a pole told you to jump off the bridge, would you do it? Honestly, if 5,000 people told me to jump off a bridge on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of people that want me to <laughs> oh. And that makes you a whore. All right. All right, Charles. All right. I like cannot believe that you- Anyone else has done that, I might have found it slightly amusing. You guys are all okay with this. You're all accomplices. You're letting it happen. God, please protect me. If God is watching this episode, he doesn't give a shit. God, please protect me. Well, I feel like an absolute jerk. Seriously, guys. Comment down below. If it makes you feel better. You were in very good company because you're all coming across like total jerks. I am so scared and I feel bad right now. Comment down below. That's another <laughs> sin. Bollocks to it. Sins are going out everywhere. Hello. Let Chelsea know that she's a badass because that is not an easy thing to do. It's actually very easy. Somebody handcuffs you to something, you can't move. Just saying. Ah. Uh... I just feel f***ing terrible. Holy shit! Sin in it. There were three or four clear footsteps that he did not react to in the slightest. But when that door closed after the footsteps, holy shit! This is abysmal. One of the cell doors just slammed. What the hell? There's another sin. Why are you sitting there? A cell door's just slammed shut on your paranormal investigation. Get the fuck out there. Go and look. Work out which cell door, how, why, when. This is lowering the tone for paranormal investigations. Hey, Entity 7, Joe Vitale, have you seen this crap? It's happening. I just want to say right off the bat that I mean no harm. How exactly does one harm a demon? What are you gonna do? Get out your piss off ghost spray? <laughs> now, you'll have heard me say that on Paranormal Investigations. We mean no harm, we mean no disrespect. That's not because we think it's a demon, it's just on the off chance that there is a decent spirit of somebody there. Or failing that, that the family members are watching. These guys are just going through the motions, the script of Baggins and other shows. Awful. So when Nakoda dropped me off, he told me that he would walkie-check me to make sure our walkies are working, and he did not do that. Not set up at all. Sin. <laughs> so he either totally forgot about me in here already, or our walkies do not work. Or I'm a dumbass and I didn't turn my walkie on. I'm in a horror movie. I feel like I'm in my worst nightmare right now. I'm in my worst nightmare watching this shit. Dude, it sounds like something's pissed. 
That would be me. One of these doors is opening, but I don't think it's on this floor. I think it's below me. Uh, then why don't you go and look? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try a little experiment here. I got two of these flashlights. I'm gonna put the blue one to my left and the black one to my right. I'm gonna ask. He's looking for spunk. If we can get any responses. If you can hear my voice, can you turn this light on? If you remember me. No way. Sin. <laughs> the camera was clearly not on it. It didn't show this torch the entire time before. He's focusing on the one to the left of him. And then, uh, uh, no way to the right. It was probably already on. <laughs> I'm sending this experiment as well because... Those type of mini mag lights, you twist them until you're on the verge of connection. You twist it right up and you'll see the light flicker. You twist it a fraction. You put it down and the connector now and again will just connect for no apparent reason. And you can just edit the video to whichever which way suits you to make it look like it is answering in response. Even though in real time it's probably been 20 minutes until that flashlight is connected. I've seen this done countless times, and it is a load of shit. This is not an experiment for paranormal investigation. Are you the person that attacked me several years ago? No, I, I cannot make this up. You are making this up. You got your mag light, like I just described. You keep the camera on your face and you wobble it for 27 minutes. The torch comes on, because in that wobble, that's where you've hidden your cut, and then you claim no way. Even with the mag lights that sensitive on that little cusp of turning on and off, not that off. Oh, no way. Yet you've ignored it flashing on and off again. There's another sin. I'm... Um... It did it multiple times. So, whatever is up here now is the thing that attacked me. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a shit experiment with a torch. <laughs> whatever was making our gear malfunction earlier, to me, seemed like... What gear malfunctions earlier? We have watched the full episode for 13 minutes and 28 painful seconds. I haven't seen any equipment malfunction. You couldn't possibly mean the torch because you're all in separate parts of the prison. What are you talking about? I believe you're speaking from your anus. However, they were actively trying to have us not communicate. Right, excuse me, he was talking about the radios not working. But how does he know the radios are not working if he's been sat there the entire time and he hasn't gone and spoken to Chelsea, who's in the dark, saying, oh, this working, bro. So I have a spear box here. What this device does is it scans different radio frequencies at a super fast pace. I'm just going to ask some questions and see if I get any responses. <laughs> Give me your name. Who am I talking to? There's a sin. <laughs> now, that may have sounded a little bit like cell, but it certainly did not say in the cell. To me, that sounded like it said punk. Uh, I'm just going to sin. I'm just going to sin spirit boxes in general. I don't like them. It bounces radio stations. You pick a pareidolia or random radio station words and then claim it to be from a ghost. No, it is literally just something jumping radio stations and random words can come out on occasion. Get a grip. I heard. Do we we do we we is what I heard. Do you see me is what he came. I think I said, do you see me? And that was a sin as well. Or see me. I don't see you. 
but I can hear you through this device. I just heard like a deep breath, a deep breath, like. <sighs> I'm gonna send it that. It sounded overly to me. Can I prove it? No, but this isn't debunking. This is paranormal sins. It sounded overly. She's looking in a direction. Now, there's a camera set in front of her, away from that room. The noise in my headset, which picks up omnidirectional, made it sound like the noise came from between the camera and her. Closer to the camera than what she is. But, yeah, um, it came from that room, so <laughs> there's that. Hello? What she is reacting to there and claiming as a breath, you can hear like a broom handle. It's that snap of a broom handle on something tapping. <laughs> it's not a breath at all. I'm 17 minutes in and I'm done. I best see some profound shite or I'm out. Sin. What the hell was that? It's probably a rat, mouse, mole, rodent, Bigfoot, Wendigo, anything other than a ghost. <laughs> this, if you missed the live streams, is a beardo weirdo voodoo doll. It has the same hair, it has the same beard, it has an Hawaiian shirt, it has the Lee shorts. This is a knife. I want to stab my own eyes out. Stick these in my ears as well because... Okay, on that note, I am tapping out. I don't know how many sins there are. At some point, I switched off to what I was doing, but I forgot to count sins. I will have added them in editing up here. I was pointing in the wrong direction. At one point, I actually went to the toilet and got a beer and came back while this was playing because I was that bored of it. I managed to get 27 minutes and 49 seconds in. I cannot finish this video off. I'm only halfway through. Whatever the sins counter is, this was worse than Paranormies. This was worse than whatever that sin counter is. Even if it's lower than the other channels I have done Paranormal Sins on, it severely underestimates how shit this was. I want 27 minutes and 49 seconds of my life back. This was the most awful thing I have ever, ever laid my eyes on. This is an embarrassment to the paranormal community. This is an embarrassment to any legitimate paranormal investigators. And if this crap is what is spurring on the next generation of paranormal investigators or ghost hunters, I despair. Absolute drivel. So be it as weird as boys and girls, you asked for it, I gave it, I can't help my reaction, this was awful. I will never, ever, 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 forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, for subject myself to a Project Fear video again. I knew I was in trouble from the off, because of the thumbnails. This shite made the twins look legitimate. It was that bad. I've never seen anything that bad. Truly, truly awful. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. If you do enjoy Project Fear, please, for the love of God, Jesus, Allah, Santa, Easter Bunny, Satan, whoever the fuck you believe in, please tell me why the hell this is as popular as it is. They have 222,000 subscribers in a matter of weeks. 279,000 views in five days on that. Is this what myself, Ghost on Trent, the Weech Brothers, exploring the entity, dead cold, connecting to afterlife and I conjure, is this what we're up against? I can't even say how do we compete because we can't compete with this because we are not idiots. This is 
trash TV made for idiots. And if you're offended by that, I'm sorry, you're an idiot. I can't put it any other way. This is not how the paranormal works. This is not how paranormal investigating works. And even what they do have in the video that I've watched so far isn't paranormal. It's triggered responses, events that just happen over time, like the twisty flashlight, and they've edited. I'm not even trying to, I'm not even going to defend my decision. This, without a shadow of a doubt, is the worst thing I have watched on YouTube in a long, long, long time. Whatever that sin counter is doesn't do this justice, but I'm done. I'm done. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Much love to you all. A beardo. Out. Seriously, I've got to stop listening to some people. Jesus Christ, that was bad. Oh my God. I'm doing a ghost hunt. Atolls.